Hey guys, Jed here. So I'm on the way up for another day on the gondola and I need to shave. But, uh, <laughs> um, so I thought I'd do a quick vlog and just talk. And so one of the big things that people say whenever I meet any of my readers or I meet anyone out here is they're always like, oh, you know, you're so lucky. You get to snowboard and do all this cool stuff. Like, how, how do I get your life? And you know what, you, you just go for it, and it's not about luck, I, I don't believe in people who are successful that say, oh, you know, it's all luck, and that, that's just a, that's just nonsense, you know, you, you make your own luck, you, sure, some element of good fortune is required, but a lot of the times it's just you putting yourself in the right place at the right time, and you're prepared, you know, there's that quote where they say, luck is where preparation meets opportunity, and you know what, that is so true, and I've never met anyone that's made it 100% on luck. Unless I meet any lottery winners or something like that, then it just that's just not how it works. A lot of the success you see for most people is just working hard every day, man, you know. Um, and you know what, it, it, it's just about taking that first step. It's not even hard sometimes, you know. For If all you want to do is ride s snowboard every day and just ride a lot of powder, then move to a ski resort. It's not rocket science. Everyone in Whistler has basically done that. And, you know, there are people who will come here and be like, oh, you know, but I don't want to work an entry-level job and blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, you have to put in the time first, you know. I mean, most people in Whistler got started washing dishes or cleaning hotel rooms or serving tables. You know, like, you're not going to get that six-figure job first time in Whistler. That's, that's ridiculous. And you know what, the people with the six-figure jobs are guys who are really doing well, living the ski bum life, the dream, I guess you could call it, and those guys worked your butt off, and you don't see all the stuff they had to go through to get there. I think a lot of people, they look at the guys now and they say, oh, you know, you're all this and all that, but you don't see like all the hard times they went through, all the effort and work they had to put in slogging through to get to that point where they are now. Like, for example, um, just the Snowy blog, I mean, geez, we started with getting a couple of visitors a day, and now we're up to 40,000 in a month. That's just crazy, you know? 40,000 visitors, I, I, like, geez, it must have been, what, November, we were at 10,000, and it's just spiked up like crazy, and it hasn't really gone down. So, you know, like, a lot of this stuff, people look at things and see the end result. They don't see all that work that went into it, and... I'll, I'll tell you the honest truth, when I started SnowMe, it wasn't to be what it is today. I think the first version of SnowMe was just like a wiki, and I was just putting random things on it, and just r random snowboard related travel advice and things like that, but you know what, you you learn from the stuff that doesn't work, you adapt, you fix it, you figure something else out, and a lot of it is just finding what works, you know. Don't get stuck too stuck into one idea because you, it's going to change. Nothing rarely ever goes according to plan. I've always said this. And yeah, if you do something and it doesn't work out, you've got to be ready to adapt, figure out what's not working, how you can improve it, how you can change it, because that's basically it at the end of the day. Nothing works out the first time. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, sometimes. No, 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 nothing works out the first time. So... Yeah, that's pretty much just a short vlog. I think the gondola's about to get to the top now, so you can see um, it's not really much visibility out there right now, but hopefully hopefully it's better up top, you know? I mean, <laughs> fingers crossed, right? Alright, so that's about it. Uh, I might do more of these, because I spend a lot of time sitting in gondolas or just walking to the lifts and... Must as well do something with that time, right? So, yeah, if you got any things you wanted me to talk about, then let me know. Take it easy, guys. So one more thing before you go. Here's my free snowboard gear guide that I created for my readers at snowme.com. It will teach you how to pick the perfect snowboard setup that's right for you. So it will take you through sizing your snowboard, which snowboard's best for you, what bindings should you choose, how to choose boots that won't make your feet hurt, how to choose the right helmet, and a whole lot more. So if you want this free guide, here's your chance to grab it.